Hello friends and welcome or welcome back. Hello friends and welcome or welcome back. My name is Anna and I'm the maker behind Crafter Hands here in YouTube and on Instagram. You can also find me in Ravelry as Crafter Hands 73 and also Crafter Hands 73 at gmail.com. I'm coming to you from the beautiful Dominican Republic. Today is the second day of October and this is my September wrap up. Uh, the day is gloomy and rainy and this is the third time I'm trying this video let's hope I don't have any issues with the sound this time and temperature is about 33 degrees Celsius feels like 38 and in Fahrenheit it's about 92 I'm wearing my finished Tresoro I already finished this one and this is the second time I've watched uh, I've washed it and uh, I feel very comfortable with it. The first time I felt it was a little choky. Let me just stand up so you can see it. This are, these are my hips. And yeah. Um, this is Tresoro by Isabel Kramer. I did size two. It was supposed to give me about 41 inches at the bust. My full bust is 36 and a half. 37 inches so it's not as loose as it was supposed to be but it's still very comfortable of course i have the ac on to do the, this podcast so that i don't burn because let me tell you i don't think dominican republic knows it's the beginning of autumn it feels very much like the middle of summer here very much um this is gonna be a wrap up and this is gonna be a short one because i have a class in less than an hour. I'm gonna talk about this one because this one hasn't gotten a lot of love, but I wanna show it because I did work on it a little bit. This is the Falle by Irene Lin, Falle Summer Top. And this is how much I worked since the, about the 14th or 15th of September when I did my mid-month podcast. There's not a lot to say about this one because it hasn't gotten a lot of love. Uh, I finished, well, I have finished. I have a hoe and uh, this is the um, Hardy Show sock, the number 13 in the books of 52 weeks of socks. It's a toe up sock with an increase for the gusset. It's supposed to be a little longer, but I really, really, really don't like making this diamond shapes because it's the only thing that's that I, re I really didn't like about the pattern the rest of the pattern i've been uh pouting because sometimes we act we act like uh, spoiled spoiled toddlers the pattern is good the only thing is for my brain and the way i work i'm very fast-paced and the diamonds have i think it's four symbols that are very similar two that go to the right, two that go to the left. So we had to color coordinate it. I had to give them colors so that I wouldn't get messed up. And that's the only thing that's really difficult about this sock. This sock does not have a, as much, it's, it's mostly me. So you can try it, it's mostly me. My friend is doing the same sock with me and she already started her second sock so I'm not gonna have second sock syndrome because she's pushing me. Thank you. Um, I did work on this a little bit. This is my crochet blanket, scrappy blanket. I moved the, the marker but it was around here. So I've done about this much all the way. And I'm making this with scraps that are, that are less than six grams. This is my magic ball. And this is what left of the first one. And I'm using a size three millimeter crochet hook. Ah! 
while trying to fix a little bit of my mess, I found Mr. Giraffe and he's almost ready. I'm gonna put the name of the book here. Um, I already have the spots. I have one and two. I need one more leg. I, I even have the little tail. The little horns are the only part missing and it's mostly the little horns, one leg and a little bit of sewing and he's gonna be ready. I have six nephews and well, three nephews and three nieces, but two of them are already teenagers. So I think one of my three munchkins, it's gonna get a little giraffe because this this little guy has uh, safety eyes and the baby's coming, the baby that's coming on January. I'm not gonna give, I never give a baby safety eyes, even though this ones have glue, special glue, and I burned the, um, the backing and squat, I, I, I tapped it. So it's, it's never, it's never ever going to be, I can, I can just, I could give it to a puppy. This is not gonna, the eyes are not coming out, but I will never risk it with a baby, with a baby. So one of my three munchkins, I have a six-year-old, a five-year-old, and a four-year-old. So one of him, one of them, it's gonna claim this one. This is the last uh, work in progress that you have seen. This is the Aliso Creek. You, I think everybody knows already. If you've seen me before, you see this blue thing, and you already know. And this is how much I worked on it, and I didn't finish it because my best friend who's making this with me. She went on vacation and she was making the statement sleeve tea, statement sleeve sweater in crochet because she went to Chile. So she stopped working on this one and I'm trying to finish almost at the same time as her. We're kind of doing our, our little um, call by ourselves. <clears throat> My youngest son asked me uh, a little while ago, he wanted one of one sweater. I have this sweater that I've made for myself. This is mine. And this is a size small medium and I made the medium large for my husband and just uh, adapted the length of the sweater and the length of the sleeves. So he wants one of these. So I'm making an autumn league pullover, yes groundbreaking and not only pull over in autumn but I'm making one for him because he says we get around 10 days of semi not hot weather and he wants it he wants to be able to use it and I started this last week because he he's 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 very neat worthy and he wants it so this is the little design on the front it doesn't have short rows, you start in the back. This is a free pattern by two of ones. If you, you wanna have the free pattern, you can go to her blog. And if you want to, you can also buy the kit at Lion Brand. This is cotton jean and this is the black color. I don't have the other balls around me. But this is the black color, this is a DK weight yarn. So it's not that hot for our weather. And oh, I'm sorry. And this is how much I have from my first 100 grams. As soon as I finish this, I will pick up first. I will pick up the neckband because that way I can um, try it on on my son. He's 20 years old. He's six foot, maybe six foot one. He's still growing. I don't know how, but he's still growing and he's about uh, 160 pounds. So he could fit the small medium, but he he likes the medium, medium large a little better. So this is a medium large. It's about 600 grams. Um, I told you before that I'm working with Agujetas Solidarias, which is a foundation that works with Needy Knockers, which is an, organi an organization in the United States, but we have like, could we call it like a chapter that works in the Dominican Republic. And this is gonna be difficult. Oh. Of course. And I'm making Needy Knockers. This one's not finished. 
I'm coming, I'm thinking back because they rather not have them with the nipples. And I'm sorry, this is a little messy. This is a second knitting knocker. I'm learning how to do them from the front to the back and this was done from back to front. And I'm using, um, these are the, the things. Yeah. Meter spray things and I'm using size five. These are my fours, so I'm using size five. October is the month of a prevention of breast cancer, so we're working on needing knockers to send to patients of um, lower income that are not able to get reconstructive surgery yet. That's it for works in progress. So I have, well, I have three things that I wanna start quickly. As soon as I finish one of this, I'm gonna start one of these. So this is my gay swatch. This is one, and this is two. Uh, I'm trying to make, I, I wanna make the Digley Dale by Isabel Kramer. I already know that my tension is tighter than hers, so I went up one size needle and got gauge on this, uh, pearly grayish cream color and this is with her recommended needle it's a little smaller now I will have to do the math and see which one I rather have this got gauge this is a little off in the needles that she recommended but once you have your gauge you can do the math I'm using for this one, I will be using, not using it yet, color number six and color number 18 from Katia Alexandria, I'm sorry, Katia Alexandria, and this is fingering weight mercerized cotton. And I'm making a big mess around myself. This is without the ball bands so that you can see how they're gonna look together. I have more than enough to make it bigger, to make a size bigger, to make it longer. Then I swatched, look at me being a good girl. I swatched this one, which is Katia Memphis with uh, DK weight color. I have it here. Color five. It's a very navy dark blue. And uh, I swatched this to make the Lethem sweater. I'm gonna put it here. Long sleeve with a uh, statement sleeve and it's um, bottom up. It's the only thing that I'm not very excited about but my best friend uh, it's making it for her niece so I decided to make it myself. I had it in my uh, pattern library and I have more than enough yarn to make it so that's one of the things that I'm gonna make during autumn in the next few months. And the other thing that's making me dream, the only the other thing that I really am enjoying thinking about making, I'm really excited, I'm really, really excited about making it, is the Stripe Hype sweater. Every time I go out here in the Dominican Republic, sweaters are, um, Stripe sweaters are all the rage. It's like the thing. And uh, this is by, oh my God. I know her name is Veronica Limbert and she has a handle. I'm gonna put her handle here. And uh, I, I'm really in love with this sweater. I had in my stash three of this, so 300 grams of Katia Memphis. This is color eight. And I'm gonna 
combine it with color 12, color 5, uh, color 37, and color 9. So this is my main color and these are my stripes. I'm just dying to start this one. I really want to start this one. So one, two, three, four. So I have the Fagi, the Autumn Leaf Pullover, the um, Aliso, only three, only three. I only have three sweaters on my needles. I have uh, the dress shawl that I haven't given any love to it this time, but it's something that I just have there so that I can knit something that's mindless. Uh, next time I'm, I'm sure it will have some love. So, uh, three projects on the whips, one hole, the sock, three three knitting, and one amigurumi that needs a little love. That's it for me today. I hope uh, everything is well in your part of the world, and take care of yourselves. Bye.